Hi everyone, we were at DSA 2024 in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia, on the Kongsberg booth. I am now meeting with Stolli Mortensen, Senior Business Development Manager for Missile Systems at Kongsberg Defense and Aerospace. Uh, so, Kongsberg uh, has been under contract with Malaysia uh, for a few years now for the uh, NSM. Uh, what is the latest uh, situation with the program here? The program itself is running uh, smoothly, so there has been some delays on the vessel programs for Malaysia, so that has been uh, uh, impacting their ability to operate uh, NSM. Uh, luckily, the government has now restarted the LCS program, so we are looking forward to the LCS being equipped with NSM um, launching equipment, so they'll be able to utilize them. We also know that the Malaysian government signed the LOA for um, ship-installed equipment for two frigates, uh, Lekyo and uh, Jabat, so uh, that's an additional uh, launching capability for them for the uh, missiles that are being delivered to Malaysia. Uh, Malaysia is in Southeast Asia, it is very hot and humid. Uh, is uh, NSM and its seeker performing well in these uh, conditions? Yeah, that is a good question uh, or a question that is very common. Um, with the number of nations that we have acquired and especially in 2018 when we had Malaysia, we also had the US Navy uh, the same year. So the ability to operate in all different climates was extremely important for the US Navy and is extremely important for the Australian Navy, which we signed a contract with last year and for uh, other countries, uh, both in this region and uh, other places. So I can assure you that, uh, that this has been uh, demonstrated for all these uh, relevant customers. Yeah. You just mentioned uh, Australia, so you're under contract with Australia as well. Uh, any new development with Australia? Yes, we signed the NSM contract just before Christmas in 2022. The program is running smoothly. This is uh, the C-1300 program, so we are uh, delivering the ship integrated equipment for both the Hobart and the ANSACs, and uh, this is going to be integrated on these platforms within uh, the year. Uh, under this program we also have a certain production capability of equipment in Australia and, uh, and uh, maintenance capability for the missiles is also going to be delivered under the program. What's important for Australia moving ahead is, uh, is uh, the ability to uh, maintain and produce uh, advanced guided weapons in the country. That also includes our family of missiles, so we are in cooperation with uh, the Commonwealth looking at um, business case uh, production for the government uh, as they are considering the ability to produce ours and other capabilities in the country. So that's going to be an exciting development to follow in the, in the next months and hopefully we'll be able to, to talk more about that uh, later in the year. Stolle, NSM has been quite successful lately uh, with uh, land-based uh, coastal defenses as well, uh, with, uh, I believe, uh, this year alone uh, news from uh, Lithuania and Romania. Uh, can you comment on this? Uh, yes, we have an ongoing program in Romania, which is uh, under delivery, very much the same as the Polish program. Last year we had a very, very large contract for uh, the Polish uh, So both the Black Sea and the Baltic region is being covered. Uh, in Australia we have uh, been marketing um, an Australian made solution basically so if we are able to um, to expand our uh, capabilities within missiles also uh, missile production in Australia uh, in, co in cooperation with the Commonwealth of Australia uh, we can utilize the NASAMS production that we already have in country our plan is then to work with Talos for the launching equipment so we can ma make uh, lo very large parts of the program in Australia we believe we are in a good position for the next um, regiment for long-range precision fires that is being planned in the or that is in the investment plan in Australia that was published last month. And of course the, Mar the US Marine Corps also are using the Nemesis system. Absolutely so that's uh, in full production and expanding quickly and it's being uh, operationalized uh, as we speak. Yeah. There are now 14 uh, customers for NSM how do you support such a high number of uh, clients? We are um, um, expanding our production capability significantly and uh, this summer in June we will open a new missile factory in Kongsberg so that's been uh, uh, in production for a while now. Uh, we um, are also looking at uh, expansion of our production capability in other places. So Australia I was talking about this one place but also um, we are considering what we can do in the US and other places in, uh, in the world, both for maintenance and also production. Uh, yeah. uh, supporting uh, the end user also means uh, helping them with the integration on the new platforms. Uh, is that something you can uh, discuss? 
Uh, yes, so for um, many of the countries uh, that have become new users, uh, they are looking at not only uh, integration to existing types of platforms, but uh, how they can use, utilize uh, advanced uh, weapons like NSM and JSM on uh, all relevant platforms in a way, and that includes uh, air launch platforms, uh, mission modules, uh, solutions, etc. So we are looking at that for several countries actually. Yeah. You just mentioned uh, JSM. Uh, is there any uh, recent uh, news you may share with us? Um, it was known already in uh, last year, in uh, 2023, more or less one year ago. It was announced that um, the budget request for JSM for the US Air Force. So we are hopeful to conclude that contract successfully. Uh, so we will be able to talk more about that uh, hopefully in uh, in some months. But um, we believe that the development that we have seen on NSM is probably going to um, to happen with JSM. Also, there's been interest for. Uh, JSM from um, uh, most, if not all, of the relevant uh, F-35 uh, user countries. So um, if we uh, uh, expand uh, our uh, JSM program also to uh, include US, we believe that most of the other countries will also um, show significant interest within the next year and that the program will be uh, have the same type of development as we have seen with, uh, with NSM. Lastly, Stoller, are you looking with uh, your end users at the potential integration of uh, JSM on the maritime patrol aircraft as well as unmanned aircraft? Absolutely. Uh, as you touched upon already, uh, just as important as uh, marketing uh, our missiles to new countries is the integration to new platforms. And for many existing users of both NSM and, uh, and JSM, uh, maritime patrol aircraft is an important platform that should be able to carry these kinds of assets. And we believe JSM is a perfect match with most of these platforms. It has uh, low weight, uh, but very long range and, uh, and very good uh, penetration capabilities, which is exactly what you're looking for at these types of uh, platforms. All right, great, Stolle. Thank you very much for this uh, update on both NSM and uh, JSM. Great talking to you. And uh, thank you, Xavier. Uh, great talking to you as well.